Hi, I'm Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Govern. Thank you for watching. What if your local government was going to make a proposal that was going to put you and future generations in debt for decades in order to build a critical piece of infrastructure that they in turn were going to locate in one of the worst places in the county? Well, today we're going to be talking about a story just like that. Okay, today we're going back to Thurston County in Washington State, home of Washington State's capital in the city of Olympia. And we're talking about a major tax increase that's being proposed to build a new courthouse here. And this courthouse proposal we've discussed in the past, but it is still too expensive. It's a $250 million minimum proposal to build a new courthouse. Now, in addition though, we want to talk today about how that is also foolish and poorly thought out. Something that they've spent years planning to build, it appears that there's been uh, not nearly enough planning or thought put into this proposal. And what really makes us discuss and focus on this issue a little bit today is the fact that there was a uh, proposal put out by the Washington State Department of Natural Resources that studied the Olympia, Lacey, Tumwater area, which is the place in Thurston County where they're going to be uh, looking at to locate this new courthouse, and looking at the geological uh, uh, characteristics of the soil and the susceptibility to liquefaction during an earthquake. And this is important because if you locate a building in one of these uh, places that it would be more susceptible to damage during an earthquake. And this is the map that uh, the DNR has in this proposal, and it analyzed all these different soil types. The red is considered the worst types of locations uh, from a damage and a high chance of being liquefied in case of an earthquake, mostly because these areas are, uh, there's heavy fill and there's areas where the soil would basically liquefy in case of some kind of a serious earthquake that could happen. And of course, uh, the Thurston County proposal for this new, very expensive courthouse is to go right downtown, right in one of these locations, one of the worst places uh, in the county to locate a building like this. Now, if you have a critical piece of infrastructure and it's damaged by an earthquake, then it's not terribly useful during times of need when you have the county in, in, uh, at high risk. And so let's talk again a little bit about that proposed courthouse location it's gonna have a high risk of liquefaction there. It's gonna be most likely to be damaged. Even if the building itself was built in a way to somehow survive that level of damage, the uh, utilities that go to it most likely wouldn't be functioning any longer. The current location where the courthouse is located, according to that same soils map, is a low risk location. So, in addition to not only having this courthouse put in a terrible location in the county, it is still too expensive. But sometimes people have to look at just how expensive this courthouse really is and how much is that gonna really impact us in the future. There was a proposal made uh, earlier this year to the Thurston County Commissioners. That proposal was made on March 8th, and it was a proposal from a company called PFM Financial, and they were analyzing the ability of Thurston County to go into debt and what it would be like to uh, have new bonds, new bonded debt, uh, that they would use for this courthouse, or at least in theory, use for this courthouse. And one of the things in this proposal on page uh, 13, they analyze how much debt that currently exists in Thurston County. And it's approximately $56 million, just under $56 million of debt that the taxpayers of Thurston County are still on the hook for and that they're making annual payments. Uh, some of this includes debt for buildings that ha were foolishly remodeled, like the 3400 building before it was sold. And some of it's just old debt left over from the jail that they built. Uh, they call the ARC, the uh, Accountability and Restitution Center, and some of it's other debt from other uh, facilities that they built over the years. So it's about 35, 36 million dollars worth of debt that they, or 50, sorry, 56 million dollars of the debt that they have. Now, if you look at the uh, payment plan on that debt, the amount of money that taxpayers have to pay on an annual basis to pay both the principal and the interest on that debt, it can be anywhere between seven and five million dollars a year that's going out of the taxpayer funds to cover that debt. And this chart that was on page 14 analyzes and breaks down the amount of money that the taxpayers are paying for the next 10 years or so on that debt. And this is money that we're paying right now. However, the current proposal that has been made to the taxpayers, it's gonna be on the ballot in April of 2020, will actually increase this county debt, Thurston County's debt, by 500%. That is a 
big change in the financial structure uh, that we'd be facing, not just now, but for 20 years, because these are going to be 25-year bonds. Uh, this is a big deal. This is a huge change in the financial picture for Thurston County. So this proposed financial impact in Thurston County, not only does it, at a minimum, increase property taxes 38.5%. This is, we've mentioned this before, and I want to reemphasize this fact. This is a big change in the amount of property taxes that Thurston County collects on their general obligation funds. This is a huge change. It's one of the biggest property tax increases in Thurston County history, and that number is accurate. The, uh, the, it was, there was a lot of supporters for this courthouse who didn't like the fact that we were referring to this as a 38.5% increase, and yet staff was forced to admit at a recent work session that that number is factually accurate. That is exactly how much uh, they are proposing to increase uh, the property taxes in Thurston County. So what this uh, functionally would do is that if this debt was approved by the voters and they decided to uh, take it on, it would increase the amount of debt payment per year from $7 million, which is where it's at currently, to approximately $23 million. That's a lot of money going out to pay on debt, and that's because we'll be increasing the county bond debt by 500%, which is a substantial amount. However, it's important to know that this is the best case scenario that the voters and the taxpayers of Thurston County have to look forward to under this proposal. It presumes that the county won't go over budget in building this building, which would be unusual because Thurston County usually does. Uh, it will also propose that they don't have any other substantial problems when they build the building, which would also be kind of unusual because Thurston County has a not very good track record when it comes to building new facilities. This is also assuming that the city of Olympia, which has a much worse financial picture than Thurston County, that they would actually be able to contribute something to this, which is nowhere near certain. And in fact, the city of Olympia is unlikely to completely commit to being able to do that because of their debt picture, which we've discussed in the past. So if all goes according to plan, best case scenario, we're going to be burning up a lot of money in Thurston County for this new proposed courthouse. But what if the financial picture isn't as rosy as it's been proposed? What happens if we get less than the best case scenario that uh, Thurston County has been considering? If you look at that same report on page 11, they analyze some of the historical property tax valuations in Thurston County. This chart actually shows what happens when you have a recession, which we did in 2008. And it's, there's usually a little bit of a lag time between when the recession hits and when property tax values are substantially impacted. And when they were really impacted in Thurston County after the peak in 2009, taxes didn't, uh, the, or the property tax assessments didn't go up again for seven years. And it was a big impact. It really reduced the amount of valuation that you had in property and therefore how the property taxes were distributed. So what that would mean if you actually looked at a proposal for Thurston County with this new bond, that if we just had the same type of recession happen in the future, and we know that you know, the economy goes up, the economy goes down, inevitably there's going to be a time in the future when we do have a recession, and it might not be that far away. So under a recession scenario where the property taxes would be impacted roughly the same that they were impacted in the 2008 situation, we would see uh, the property taxes get distributed quite a bit different than the current proposal. The first thing that would happen is after about a year or so, we would see the maximum amount of property taxes that could be collected, the property tax increase, because the property tax values are going down, the increase, because they still have to pay this debt, would go up to $1.80, which is the statutory limit per thousand in valuation, which means that uh, it would max out and it would be the equivalent of a 67% tax increase over what Thurston County currently collects for these funds, which would effectively change how much money actually goes into the services that Thurston County provides. Now, if you look at Thurston County, just like most counties in Washington state, roughly 80% or so of their budget goes into uh, public safety. It's usually law enforcement, the jail, uh, and the justice system. That's the majority of the money. And so when you have a huge increase like this from what's currently about $34 million that they spend out of the general fund and dropping down to about $28 million, that's a big change, especially when you consider inflation and other factors that actually increase the cost of services year over year. So this would be the largest cut anybody in Thurston County has ever seen in the budget when it comes to providing public safety. And this is what would happen if there was just another recession similar to what we had in 2008. This would make us look, the rest of Thurston County, it would put us at risk of looking a lot more like Olympia. 
like this picture shows here, or other places around Olympia as they experiment with their own urban blight effort in attracting homeless drug addicts to the county. And you would have all kinds of problems, I think, throughout the county if you really cut back on services to that degree, especially public safety services. The current Thurston County Courthouse would uh, be replaced under this proposal with this fancy new proposal, locate this new courthouse in a terrible location, the worst spot you could put it in the county where it would be highly susceptible to being damaged during an earthquake and getting to a place where it would look terrible. And I, I think that one of the things to remember is that we can do better. As we've discussed before, there has been a better proposal. There has been an alternative made. Uh, I'm calling the John Pettit proposal based on the citizen who made this proposal originally. And this proposal solves a lot of the problems that uh, we've discussed that uh, the current courthouse legitimately does have. It moves the district court to the Family Law and Justice Center in Tumwater, a location that's less likely to be susceptible to earthquake. It's not located next to homeless drug addict camps, and it is solves most of the parking problem that exists in the current courthouse, and it allows the district and superior court, both of them, to expand. So, uh, and it all does this for a fraction of the cost that's being proposed now. It won't force us to go into this dramatic debt picture and make future generations uh, have to pay for the mistakes of today. And I think that it's important to look at this. We've done a couple videos now on this issue. We've looked at this issue uh, from a variety of different ways and part of it again is to look at the history of how we got to a proposal like this. And unfortunately, the proposed Thurston County Courthouse design is a political design. It's been, politics has been the motivating factor in deciding where they locate it in a terrible location in Olympia in order to politically reward Olympia, in order to politically uh, solve some of Olympia's problems and uh, also solve other politicians uh, grandiose schemes and plans and also help the judges so they can walk to Starbucks, get private restrooms and uh, have some other benefits that they're looking at. And I think that a lot of this myopic focus on some of these little uh, issues, special interest concerns have really forced the entire planning process to go off the rails to come up with a design and a plan like this. And yet if this happens in Thurston County, I don't think Thurston County, uh, if it can happen here, it's not necessarily unique. These things happen all the time in local government, and especially when we let government and special interests get involved and kind of run project ideas like this off the rails. It's always better for us to intervene as citizens and expose the truth about it now so that we can make changes before it's too late and we're committed and we're stuck with paying debt for future generations. So uh, I, this is going to be something that uh, I would encourage you to look at where you live, if you don't live in Thurston County, look at other jurisdictions and look at uh, your county government or your city government and see what some of their plans are on the agenda so that you can anticipate these in advance and hopefully prevent them from going as far as they have in Thurston County right now. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, go to the comment section down below. A lot of these documents that we presented today will be located in a link there. And go to wethegovern.com and look at uh, some of the other stories that we have on topics like this and related topics. Feel free to subscribe and share with others. Thank you again so much for watching.